സത്യം പറഞ്ഞ കേതുഷ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ ഒരുപാട് ടോപ്പിക്സ് ഉണ്ട് ഓ എങ്ങനെ അതിപ്പോ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്യണോ എന്നുള്ളത് എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നില്ല ഒരു കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് ഇന്നലെ എന്റെ അടുത്ത് വന്നിരുന്ന് സ്പീക്ക് ചെയ്തു അപ്പൊ എന്റെ അടുത്ത് വന്നിരുന്ന് സ്പീക്ക് ചെയ്തപ്പോ ഞാൻ വിചാരിച്ചു പൊതുവെ ഇനി എന്നെ കാണുന്നോണ്ടുള്ള ഒരു ടെൻഷൻ ആണോ അതോ എന്നെ കൺഫ്രണ്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന്റെ ഒരു ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണോ അതോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം സ്പീക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന്റെ ഒരു ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണോ എന്താണെന്നറിയില്ല ഒരുപാട് കൺസേൺസ് ഒരുപാട് കൺസേൺസ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് ആ കൺസേൺസ് ഞാനിപ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെ അഡ്രസ്സ് ചെയ്യണം എന്ന് പോലും എനിക്കറിയില്ല പക്ഷെ എൻ്റെ ഭാഗത്തു നിന്ന് എൻ്റെ സൈഡിൽ നിന്ന് ഞാൻ ഒരുപാട് കംഫർട്ടബിൾ ആക്കാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചു ആ ഒരു കംഫർട്ടിങ് ആ ഒരു ഫേസ് ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ഞാനും ആ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റും തമ്മിലുള്ളത് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് റിയലി നൈസ് ഫ്രോം മൈ പേഴ്സ്പെക്റ്റീവ് പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ എത്ര കംഫർട്ടബിൾ ആക്കാൻ ശ്രമിച്ചിട്ടും ഒരു രക്ഷയില്ല ലിറ്ററലി ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് വാസ് സ്വെറ്റിങ് ആൻഡ് ഐ വാസ് ലൈക്ക് what did happen to you i actually took a pause over there endu endarnu candidate first concern nammude criteria ansarichana nammal speaking padipikkunnathu alle appo namukku ishtam pole criterias undu sub criterias undu mainly oit official namukku thannirikkunna rendu criterias aanu you are quite familiar with it linguistic criteria as well as clinical communication criteria adinte sub criterias namukku shraddhikkendi irikkunnu alle appo nammal ellavarum speaking edukkumbam aa criteria uddeshichana nammal speaking edukkunna vashengile uh this candidate good morning uh please take a seat right in front of me uh i think you are very uh, concerned and i was like yes nurse i am concerned but you're there right in front of me so uh, i think i'll be all right uh, thank you so much for offering me a seat and i was like uh dear i want you to slow down i want you to maintain a pace and i want you to be peaceful because the no, candidate was answer. actually okay. yes exactly mti would you like to say something regarding mti because nyan parnu kodutathu endu mathram effective agunu enna enikku oru doubt und because candidate was totally flushing and totally sweating with jitters and everything jacob sir the problem mathra alla mick students inde problem aanu mother tongue influence really yes i see obviously nammal malayaligal aanu nammal samsarikkumbo mother tongue inde affluence namukku endayalum vannirikkum so endha namukku cheyan pattu idu korakkan vendittu endha namukku cheyan pattu sadhana ellarum paraya practice ഒബിയസ്ലി പ്രാക്ടീസ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ എങ്ങനെ പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്യണം നമ്മൾ സംസാരിക്കുന്ന കാര്യം റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മൾ തന്നെ കേട്ട് പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മുടെ മദർ ടങ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ഏറെക്കുറെ മാറാൻ പറ്റുന്നു or that's actually a wonderful a splendid way to understand where do you stand in the speaking sub test yes nammala thane evaluate cheyanam idu valare adhigam beneficial aanu kaaranam endayalum english nammala kekkunnundu we are familiar with the language nammal ottum english kekkaavunnu irikkalla we are familiar so namakku thane nammada mistakes point out cheyanam ingane ee reethil practice cheyyunnathoda beneficial aanu thank you so much thank and, you uh, yeah i know right next but, and where uh, no kutida concern oh yes uh, actually it's a sega i would like to say that it's a sega but um, actually the client uh, the candidate or the client uh, was like you know i don't know i'm really worried about it uh, i mean uh, all of a sudden the particular person just stopped mm-hmm. and i was in awe like i was totally hostruck what happened mm. Hmm. this was a response as if uh, the person is reluctant to open their mouth and i was like calm down would you like to have a glass of water would you like to relax uh, would you like me to give you a little more space or time or whatever it says but what do you long think it and, might be long and short pauses pauses yes, yes. exactly it's one of the pauses, pauses yes um, students on dakum actually avaru common aayittu undakuna oru karyam aanu റെസ്പോണ്ട് എങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് അറിയാൻ പറ്റാത്തപ്പോഴാണ് ഈ പ്രോസസ്സ് മെയിൻ ആയിട്ടും ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് നമുക്ക് റോൾ പ്ലേ കാർഡ് കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ തന്നേക്കുന്ന റോൾ പ്ലേ കാർഡ് ഒന്ന് ഓർഗനൈസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഏറെക്കുറെ ഈ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് നമുക്ക് മാറ്റാൻ പറ്റും ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഇൻ്റർലോക്യൂട്ടറിൻ്റെ പെട്ടെന്ന് കയറി ഇൻ്റർലോക്യൂട്ടർ നമ്മൾ ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന രീതിയിൽ ഇൻ്റർലോക്യൂട്ടർ റെസ്പോണ്ട് ചെയ്തില്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും നമുക്ക് ഈ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് വരും പോസ് നമ്മൾ വരും ആ ഒരു സമയത്ത് എങ്ങനെയാ പറയുക റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ഒന്ന് ബെറ്റർ ആക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ലോങ് ആൻഡ് ഷോർട്ട് പ്രോസസ് നമുക്ക് ഒഴ
Oh, right. So you want to say that it's long and short poses. Yes. Yes, exactly. And apart from that, when the candidate is going on speaking or when he or she is going to start speaking, after saying a couple of words, it seems like uh, they'll be... Mm, uh, mm. Uh, uh, there is an absence of something, perhaps a word, an article, an article, a preposition, something. I, I do feel a void over there. What, what, what it could be exactly? Yes, um, murmurs, humming. This is all murmurs and humming. Some of the students cover it, they use OK, like, as, actually. So, this is all murmurs. Basically, if you have a good speed, you will have a chance to get our mamas. Students are going to maintain speed. We are going to get our humming. If you have a good speed, you will have a good speed. You will have a slip of tongue. We will have a good speed. That's totally sure. Yes. If you have a good speed, you will have a good speed. I think even the natives, they do have slip of tongue in between. It's all, you know, embedded in us. Like, we are not robots, right? We are just a human being, of course. We will have a mistake. But if you have a good speed, you will have a good speed. 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 Uh, Jacob, sir, where are you from? <laughs> Actually, I do have a trail of concerns, but these are some of them that I want to talk to you regarding. And uh, the candidate was totally uneasy. So I thought that uh, as a part of uh, the candidate's nervousness or some sort of an anxiety, speaking was like this, and then it just rocketed till here. And again, it plummeted. I totally have no idea what went on wrong over there it's like fretting and fuming having some sort of jitter what well, it could be what well, it could they're be afraid like to uh, speak. They're like, afraid to speak or the, the pace the pace the smoothness everything was lacking yes do you think that speed and smoothness is uh, important obviously it's important first then in english do read the language on a request in handle in the read the lala number of statement handle in the so intonation very important on us stress strain rhythm very important on a question I'm gonna study cam how are you doing today and please come inside random random video on intonation on a number you see that so Marty other Marty March and I'm gonna use a the guy in other meaning the net taught meaning understanding then I'm already poem so maintain a stress strain rhythm in while speaking English either improving I'm ready turning a lot um how to handle basically conversation uh, conversation on the back track you can yell it the match on but exactly you know mr. this somebody aware in them there was one more uh, point that yes. actually I want to uh, uh, dart into <laughs> yes. why is uh, the candidate stopping all of a sudden like they are speaking. I'm not telling they aren't speaking. They are speaking particularly a sentence or a word and they just swallow the word. They just uh, swallow a part of the sentence that they're speaking. It's called as omission, sentence omission, word omission. Why do you think this is happening? Yes, um, common item not going to mistake. Um, for example, um, the doctor will see you now and at least will call you and that the doctor see you now. This will be important. Obviously, important. If you don't have a sentence, that sentence construction is wrong. That sentence is not a sentence. If you don't have a sentence, you don't have a sentence. We don't have a sentence. We don't have a sentence. Grammatically, if you don't have a grammar, you don't have a mistake. If you don't have a grammar class, you don't have a grammar class. So, that is beneficial for you. Exactly. Jacob, I have a question for you. Yes, Geetusha. This is a common mistake. If you don't have to talk about it, 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 Okay, so you have also, yes. yes. They are afraid. I thought that they're totally afraid of me, but you're also facing the same issue. So it seems like uh, you're also uh, in my boat. <laughs> we both are traveling the same boat. <laughs> but still want to say something to you, uh, Geetusha. You have helped me a lot over here because uh, till today morning I was having uh, this particular weight on my heart saying and uh, thinking repeatedly in my mind that 
It is just because of me that the candidates are not able to open up or to speak sitting right in front of me. I might be the culprit or I might be the person who was not at all approachable or who was not at all uh, openable. You know, the candidates, they don't feel convincing enough about me was having that particular uh, sort of uh, notion regarding myself. But now when I spoke to Geetusha, it seems like uh, it is quite normal. Yes. We all are human beings. The raw mistakes, uh, as we do say that, to uh, error is uh, humane and yes. to uh, forgive is divine. divine. Obviously. So it seems like you don't have to take attention. You don't have to uh, be on your nerve when you're speaking. Mistakes are quite common. But the only thing that you can do right now is focus on your positives when you're speaking. Chill, relax, think Talk. in your mind. Basically, exactly. Yes, Because, go on speaking yes. no matter what. As trainers, as interlocutors, we are there to correct you. No matter you go wrong once, no matter you go wrong twice, no matter you go wrong thrice, whatever it is, however it is, whichever way it is possible, we are there to help you, isn't it? Yes. Of course. You so. can't do any mistakes. Learn from your mistakes and make yourself better. That's it. And obviously, OET speaking is a lot of samsari. In English, if you don't know OET speaking, you can't do anything like that. There is a criteria. Now, you can tell me, criteria is on the assessment chain, there is a pattern. That's why you can assess it. So, in English, if you don't know OET speaking, you can't do anything like that. So, why are you afraid to speak? Speak up. That's it. So I guess so. Uh, we'll come to a conclusion because uh, these were the points that I have actually accumulated in my mind and I just came over here to have a chat with Geetha Shir because uh, I don't want my candidates to fret and fume or have some sort of a jitter or be perplexed when they're sitting right in front of me. Um, I actually want them to be relaxed. I want them to speak in such a way that already they have scored the desired score for which they are trying so hard. You know, all uh, we say, <laughs> work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yes. So I want ah, them... This is what I'm saying. If you language improve your language, try some tongue twisters. Easy ah, for example, the other yes. one, she sells seashells on seashore. Do you know another one? Ah, yes, Diti <laughs> bought a butter, but the butter was bitter. So she bought a better butter to make the bitter butter better. Awesome. If you have twisters, your confidence will also, you know, build. So of it's course. easy. It is totally easy. Guys, what I want to say to you, those who all are watching this particular short video about OET to buy a speaking subtest, please leave yourself in a relaxed state. We as trainers, we want you to speak up so that we can correct you. This is not the end of our life. This is just a face that you have to cut, isn't it? That's just a face that you have to cut. There's nothing else. Um, just be relaxed and speak. I guess Geetush has helped me a lot today. You um, have said, help me? <laughs> no, <laughs> actually you helped me a lot. So I want to say something else to you. You just uh, brought about the topic of uh, students being afraid, sitting right in front of us, right? Yes. Hopefully how not to make yourself afraid right in front of us when you're going to speak or how to actually elevate the fear that you're having in your mind by seeing an interlocutor or an examiner will be our next topic. So what I want you guys to do is, I know this particular short video is totally helpful for you and you will gain some sort of a positive from this so that you can just have some sort of reformation in yourself. Stay tuned for the next topic. Thank you so much.